Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about Wendy's because I had to talk about this right quick because Wendy's done lost this ever loving um, Wendy's ass mind. Like, <laughs> so if you guys don't know, um, well, of course you guys kind of know. You know, inflation has kind of been rising. Fast food restaurants, food places in general, things have just skyrocketed while people's pay really have been matched the inflation rates. Even if some weirdo will try to tell you it has, it hasn't. It hasn't. Um, so, if you guys know, a lot of people go to fast food restaurants is because a lot of people are busy. A lot of people are working way more longer hours, harder than they, um, you know, normally do. And in order to mitigate that, sometimes people go to fast food restaurants. Well, Wendy's decided that wouldn't it be nice if we increase the price of our food at certain peak performances. So, you know, um, if you decide to go to Wendy's um, through high peak uh, mornings, right, they're going to charge you extra. If you decide to go high peak lunchtime, they're going to charge you extra. Dinner, same thing as well. Now, Everybody knows that breakfast, um, peak breakfast hours and lunch hours and dinner times are different, varying depending on where the Wendy's located at and then depending on the jobs around. So, for me, since I work at the airport, Wendy's, Wendy's doesn't have a breakfast, but it has a lunch. So, lunch peak hours are between 4 to 6 p.m. because that's where a lot of people are having lunch break at that kind of time um, throughout the airport. Now, dinner would be maybe eight to nine would be the peak performance. So now I have to look at it like, okay, if I do this, I mean, if I go to Wendy's, so instead of like paying like, what, eight, eight dollars and some change for like what the Dave, the Dave single or whatever, I'm going to be paying like what? Almost about $15, $17 for the combo. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. You you lost your everlasting mind. I am on lunch break. All this is going to do. I mean, I'm on lunch break. I already don't make as much money as I should be making, right? And then you're going to charge me extra because you want to try to bring in more money for your company. <sighs> Look, Wendy's, you good, but you haven't been good since you got rid of the yellow. And if you guys don't remember growing up in the 90s when Wendy's had the, the yellow, the yellow containers, the yellow wraps, the yellow box and stuff like that. That was peak Wendy right there. That was peak Wendy's right there. That's the Wendy's I miss. You don't, you don't see that Wendy's no more. I mean, look at it. For, for God's sakes, chicken nuggets, two twenty nine dollars for four pieces. When back in the day when I was growing up, $0.99. Cents. $0.99 cents for four pieces. I, I, I'm sorry. Nobody should be paying close to $3 for four fucking nuggets. I mean, Wendy's ain't even got a dollar menu on this thing no more. You know what I'm saying? Like... Wendy's ain't got no dollar menu. So you already ain't got no dollar menu. The nuggets are already expensive. And now you're trying to you're trying to cheap out us on combos so you can get more money. You're already getting more money than you actually deserve for the price that you're asking for. Dream bacon cheeseburger used to be a dollar. Now it's off is now it's what 329? And it's a and it's small, and I, I'm talking about small. All right, this isn't like some chump shit. It is, it is small. All right, y'all can't keep increasing prices on shit, and then give us the small shit and expect somebody to be like, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. This is what we want, cause it's not what we want. I can tell you right now, you're going to go out like the fucking dodo bird. You're going to go out like the fucking dodo bird because I, I refuse. I can miss I can miss Wendy's. I can miss Wendy's. I can miss a Frosty. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. 
getting away from your, your monkey ass. Fuck. I can miss a Frosty. Because I don't need it. I don't need no damn Frosty. I don't need no Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. I don't need a Baconator or any of that kind of stuff. I'm not paying. I'm just not going to pay a price tax on food because I have a lunch at a certain time and that's y'all peak time. That seems like a personal problem because ask this question. If you're going to charge us more, is that money going to the employees? And I know the answer is no. I can't. Hell, it ain't hard making a fucking Frosty. We got the recipe. And it ain't hard duplicating the goddamn burgers that y'all got. All right? Never frozen beef by ass. Lost your goddamn mind. Like, I don't know where the fuck the, y'all companies think y'all can just increase prices on shit and then get confused when audience, when the customer base say hell no. You better find mitigations for your damn self, but you can't, you can't ask the people to keep constantly... You can't ask the people, hey, wouldn't it be great if you pay the fucking cost? For our decision, because we need more money. Why? Why? Because uh, what? The, uh, most Wendy's are closing down. Well, yeah. The reason why you're closing down is because nobody's going to you because the the food's not really all that great like it used to be. You cheaped out on shit. You getting you getting you giving people smaller um quantity for more money. That doesn't. I I don't understand how the fuck. Y'all run companies or businesses. You can't give a you can't give your customers smaller portions and charge more and expect that that was going to continue to work. It might work for a little bit, but people are starting to wise up. People are starting to wise up. And if McDonald's fucking struggling, oh, I know when he's struggling because McDonald's trying that same bullshit too, where. They, they talking about going up on prices in, in just in general. And ain't nobody, ain't nobody playing this game with y'all. Because let, let, let fast food be the point where I'm spending $20 on just the combo. <laughs> You'll never see me at a fast food restaurant again, which maybe y'all should. Because maybe that, that means the American people will be like, fuck this shit. Because I will starve. Before I spend 20 bucks on some goddamn food. And I'm talking about for a combo. You think I had nerd to, to shrink the cup, the cupage and the fries down. But, oh, <laughs> you don't all show goddamn mind. What is a, it, have, you ever, have you noticed how the medium is what a small used to be? And a small used to be what a kid's kid's cup was. And now a medium cup is a large cup now. Absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely the fuck not. I, I, I don't get it. I just don't understand what logic is in your head to be like, yep, this makes sense. Because to me, it don't make sense. It don't make the sense God gave. It shouldn't happen at all. And I, right now, the internet is clowning on Wendy's. If I was Wendy's, I, I'd change that shit before you even launch it. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off you're gonna turn off your audience. You're gonna turn off your, your fan base of people who actually like Wendy's food. Because I'm telling you, you play with people with food and put put uh, in prices. Okay. All right, there was a lot of restaurants that was back in the day that thought they can pull that bullshit off too. And a lot of them ain't, ain't around anymore. Go like the way the dodo bird, I'm trying to tell you. But hey, it is what it is, you know. Um, I don't wish them the best of luck at all because what they talking about is completely stupid. <laughs> like, I want y'all to learn from this. And realize, like, hmm, maybe what we're talking about is completely stupid. You know? That's what I want y'all to do. 
learn from this. You know, like that Tyra Banks thing. <laughs> we were counting on you. We were all counting on you. How dare you? <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, you guys let me know. Like, are you guys going to still support Wendy's in the future or whatever? Or are you going to be like, fuck it? Because I'm already like, fuck it. Because I don't even go to Wendy's like that any damn way. It is rare. I'm going to Wendy's anyway. And I, I'm telling I'm telling you all these darn uh, fast food restaurants, if they can, if they keep if they do prices like this, oh okay. <laughs> I can easily miss out on them. Wendy's, Burger King, Dairy Queen. <laughs> I'm just I just name a few places that used you know used to used to have me have my money, but uh, you know, nowadays they don't really have my money. You know what I'm saying? Taco Bell. No, no, I'm just joking. Taco Bell still get my money, I, I, cause I can still get a little, a, little, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot for the, for my money, still there. You know what I mean? But um, I'm just saying, just in general, just in general. You know what I mean? So we'll see, we'll see. But um, tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch.